NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. He's, he talked to the president of Ukraine and he offered assurances that NATO is going to provide assistance to Ukraine to ensure the protection of its sovereignty and territorial integrity. But the assessment here is that there is deliberate provocation. And at the moment, uh, according to the assessment here in Kyiv, Moscow is not showing any signs of interest in de-escalating the situation. Hassan, how does Ukraine intend to deal with this uh, escalation? Well, Ukraine's position is that Russia wants to escalate the situation for a number of reasons. One of those reasons is power projection. Russia wants to assert itself on the international scene, especially with the change in administration in the United States. Russia wants to assert itself, show that it's still uh, capable of uh, expanding and basically attaining its foreign policy objectives. Uh, also, another assessment here is that with the upcoming parliamentary elections in Russia in September this year, uh, Russia, of course, wants to gain, uh, to make those domestic gains, and this is why it's going to escalate the situation. Now, uh, Kiev says Moscow wants to escalate. It's resorting to provocation. For example, one official I talked to earlier said that uh, Russia-backed separatists have been sniping uh, Ukrainian soldiers uh, who are under instructions not to respond. So Ukraine's undeclared position, it seems, Rachel, is that it's not going to respond to any acts of aggression. It's going to try and use uh, political means. And of course, we've heard earlier from Ukrainian president, he said that one way to send out a strong signal to Moscow would be to ensure that Ukraine becomes a member of NATO as soon as possible. All right, Hassan Abdullah in Kyiv. Hassan, thank you.